Welcome back, everyone, to Relgax Magical Gold Bone slash Bo Bone Gold Adventure Campaign with me, Dwarf Peep. Where in the last episode, we pretty much conquered the entirety of the Deep Woods. And we also completed our transformation into the Lich that we are now. So with the clarity of death finally upon us, I think I've had a thought... Had some thinking, and I've decided, you know what, we are going to take the Masked Butchers as our vessel. And that's because it, it just seems like a good idea to have a buffer zone to one, stop them from stealing my trade in this direction, and two, to uh, just have some defensive fortifications lined up with them over here. So, we are going to get into that today. Also, what we're doing is we are going to steal some maps up of Corvuria. And finally, we no longer have negative 100% improved relations. So we can improve, albeit extremely slowly. To the tune of like 12 improved per year. And make sure I find down on corruption. Okay, so let's just get into it. And we shall see how strong, ooh, hey, 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 our uh, Black Orc Brethren are. And I've, I actually had a little look into this, and it turns out we have a unique infantry type in which we have no firearms whatsoever. That being said, we are all shock all the time. I mean, look at these pips. These are absurd. <laughs> Uh, we don't get any unique uh, cavalry, however. But, after years of magic studying, we become renowned in, tra in transmutation. I wonder how much it would cost to uh, shape change into a giant. No, that's not actually... Wait, does this not cost me any mana? No, surely not. It, it does, okay. Yeah. If only. Okay, so this costs a fair amount and has a fair amount of chance to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> I think I would much rather just keep studying. And perhaps we can learn that shape change into a dragon. <laughs> okay, we can go back up to speed four. And I'm not sure where this dude's army is. He's, oh, <laughs> spoke too soon there, Pete. Well, either way, he doesn't have enough to. Oh, actually, we should get some more troops here. I, I might spike too soon there. Get a second army just in case anything crazy happens. And we will bump up there because I don't want to deal with rebels. I really don't feel like dealing with rebels. It should be really. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive, I tell you what. Unfortunately, we can't humiliate him. We can steal his lunch money though. Uh, give up your claims on me, you fool. And let's just go wipe out his army. And we could take admin tech, which we will. And I'm not sure about the institution. We might have to find somebody that... Awesome. Hippity hoppity, you are now my property. And all right, place your bets now. How much does he hate us, folks? Yeah, he hates us. That's for sure. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get him uh, to the point where he's compliant. <laughs> Sometime. 
Oh, and all you want me to do is finish culture converting a province I've already been converting. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll send you guys back for any rebel busting opportunities. Okay. And now we have you, so we can steal maps of... Do we want to go to Ascan? Yes. So that's South Castnor, I believe. The Harpy Hills would be a good... There's a lot of things we want to learn about. Okay, so send you probably there. Um, we'll upgrade to a kingdom of Emerald Borks. And I still haven't decided what we're going to do with, um, with the elves. Okay, and we'll steal some South Castanorian maps. Okay, what do we got going on here? We've got... It's easier to view it by culture. We got some goblins. Okay, they're going to need to be eradicated. We got some orcs. Doesn't look like the orcs are doing too well, though. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody needs to, like, hurry up and colonize, please. Stupid orcs. You probably don't even have a colonist. Alright, well, it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to, uh, for one, get you happy. <laughs> 44%, oh boy. <laughs> and what's this? Perhaps an improved relations person? Yeah. <laughs> that could be helpful. Could sell... Yeah, I think we will. <laughs> Let's face it, we're not getting the, uh... We're not getting our vassal, um... <laughs> fixed anytime soon. It's gonna take a while here. <laughs> okay, but in the meantime, what we can do is we can go to war with, uh, Ordia. Or do I want to take tech first? It is a really important, uh military tech, because it gives infantry shock, which that's all we have. But I wonder... Oh, oh, right. I was tracking this earlier. The Renaissance is spreading, and we'll be here in 93. So for that reason, I think it's okay to take the mil tech, but not anything more after that. And I'm tempted to... Grade the center of trade, of which there is only one. <laughs> one whole center of trade, deep wood. Uh, this is finished, so I could conceivably, yeah, I don't see any problems with just attacking Ordia, because that was what I was waiting for for this colony, or this province to be colonized. So, I think we will. Smash em, bash em, and show em the true way of the orcs. You haven't seen nothing with the green tide yet. And we could even get an overpowered general, but... Eh. <laughs> Who cares? Soon enough, we're going to need to convert some provinces. Oh, oh, tell no, 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 you don't. Pain my, just a pain. So I think next area we'll want to spy about is something over here. Perhaps we'll get a network going in you. Look at that. We actually have positive relations with our. Us. No, no, no. <laughs> Still terrible. That's okay, though. Okay, so we got that war going. Aw, uh, you know what I can do? I can splurge on a little more troops. I really don't. Mostly I kept them uh, small to begin with because of just how hard it is 
there is like no supply limit within the deep woods itself. So really, like your best defensive strategy is to just let people take attrition. We will take some siege ability though when they come into the deep woods. It's kind of like playing uh, red scale cobalts all over again. Real quick, take care of you. You got a fort, so we don't have to worry about it. Nobody that I cared died. Awesome. Oh, uh, we could cast some Siege of Magic. Eh. Nice, and we converted you to the Emerald Orc. Yes, and we get rid of some stupid goblins, yes. <laughs> Hate dealing with goblins. Awesome, there is Ordia dealt with. And I'm not immediately sure what I want to do for this. I think I want the gold province, yeah. Seems reasonable. Then after that, I'm not sure. And I don't know where their armies are, they're just kind of hiding. As AI seemingly do. And my subject hates me because... reasons. <laughs> I could force my religion upon him. I should probably force my religion upon him. Would really make me... Re oh wait, but he's not... Uh... Yeah, he can only do that if they're below 50%. Plus, we're never gonna integrate them, so I don't see any real reason. No, you got... Oh, you got lucky, Corveria. Almost hit 50%, which is the threshold to steal maps. Oh, and apparently we get... The Unseelie approve of our dedication to savagery and honor. <laughs> yes, we are so honorful to warriors that we allow their warrior spirit to continue by raising them in death after battle. <laughs> you are henceforth invited to our next hunt, but first a boon as a token of our appreciation. A powerful pawn could be yours, one well in tune with the art of shedding blood. Perhaps you would like your men to have the sense of wolves and the strength of bears. So we could get movement speed and shock damage, ooh. Or a pretty meh general, to be honest. So yeah. Hey, give me some more movement speed. Yes, please. Yeah, nothing beats Thrall and Red Rigar. Still no sign of... Are you in another war? Ooh, yes, please. Get rid of them. No, no, just the one. Oh, yeah, I don't... I don't know what's going on. But I will take it all the same. Okay, so... Institution comes in 94. This is on... That, that, that could have shaved some time. <laughs> no biggie. Meantime, our court mage dies, of course it does. We can fully conquer Ordia, although there isn't a heck of a reason to, to be honest. I've been contemplating whether we should uh, expel humans. It, it fits the lore, but it would definitely make us a pariah to be attacked. Alright, well, I'll just send you guys back to go deal with that. Since it's so quick. Uh, I would like... Yearly inflation. Eh, funny. Funny joke there, game. Funny joke. <laughs> yes, missionary, that's what I want. Thank you. <laughs> Very funny. 
very funny. It knows about my pain with Balrigan. Okay, there's Corvurius capital. I really hope I can... I want to humiliate him, that's for sure. I wonder if I can do that from within the war with Ordia itself. Well, actually, this is a monstrous, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just talking about saving Diplo points. There's his army, he's got a war wizard, and he's still afraid of me. Strange. One could say a doctor. Strange. Oh, he... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, he had, like, three hold morale. We, we attacked into a negative two defensive terrain. And we still stack wiped him on the latest patch. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Pat ripped a Corvuria today. <laughs> that was good. I did not see that one coming. Alright, you want me to convert Hofon? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, that's, that's actually really funny. <laughs> was not expecting that. Oh, oh, can we do a round two? Can we? Can we? <laughs> he also has a level three war wizard. And once again, yep. <laughs> well played. Get correct. Get out of here, AI. <laughs> uh, Chelian, you can get out. I don't feel like... If you would. Please. <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't want to switch military after all, because that is powerful. I didn't realize the, the, the orc military was so strong. Especially our custom-made troops, that are only shock-focused. Oh, we can steal maps from Krathnor. And we want to steal of Ordia? Dostanor? Ordia is this area. This is Behair, okay. Get in position for Bahair. Okay. okay. What can you tell me about the world, good sir? Not much. You told me the wrong area. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, there's some interest. You don't see that every day. Azka Evron expanded in here. Ovdel Tungir is still dwarfing it up. Marblehead's still alive somehow. He is monstrous, so we could theoretically capture him. Although it would provide us no benefit whatsoever, other than having a buffer state like right here. That is going to require a little bit more thinking on my end. Uh, we could get the next uh, tech, but I won't because the Renaissance is coming soon. It is already here, in fact. And it would cost us 800 ducats. Oh boy. Yay. <laughs> oh. Great. Okay, we can probably get that much from uh, Corvuria themselves. We can turn off this. Oh, actually, not that much to make a difference. Okay. Steal 500 ducats from you, humiliate, and then take these two provinces. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't get to rise up. And I 
believe Corvary has like one more for it. Oh, did they uncon? No. Yeah, I'm comfortable with this peace deal. This we are getting more ups. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Sis, 18 war exhaustion for Ordia. Okay, Corvaria, please, 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 just get out. Yeah. Okay, 40 ducats lost, you'll, you'll be gone. Corvaria be gone. And we can full core, uh, Ordia. Do we want to? It's in a node we can push to, plus we'll eventually want to come down this way. So, yeah. Oh! And I, I forgot to mention, we can actually turn this into a trade company. Since, um, we... This is our only continent area. So everything can be made into a trade company. It's it's kind of a crazy start, to be honest. You know, if not for the absurd... Absurdness of the... Oh, look at that. He's happy. <laughs> Never thought I'd see it. Okay, we can sail titles again. That gets us the... Thingamabobber. We can do that. That. And beautiful. Um. Oh, ah, crap. Keep forgetting this. You gotta burn them before you core them. And now we can even get the first idea group, which, uh, quantity would be redundant if we were going for undead. Offensive's tempting. Offensive is very tempting. Siege ability, good generals. Heck, I don't even know if we need a military idea group because we're so strong. We could even go innovative maybe <laughs> I'm not even sure there, there's a lot of things I'd like and we are not going to focus on the goblin provinces since they will yep they will get got don't have to worry about them <laughs> he says that another one gets taken care of Looks like there's a whole, like, four provinces left. Pirates raided us? What? What? No, 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 no. You're mistaken, game. Oh, crap, that was, that was the wrong one. And since I just don't feel like dealing with rebels today. Okay, what do we want to do with... Keep uh, a group in there. Group over there. Still nobody's colonized. Perhaps because they know how... Strong I am. So we can't quite go to Ascan. I mean, unless we were dumb enough to pick up expansion for, like, a single one, two, that'll probably get colonized by dwarves, like, five provinces. Maybe. And oh, what is happening to you, Harpylin? You're getting your crap kicked in. By somebody other than me. Heck, we could... Oh, I was gonna say we could ally Shattered Crown if they still exist. 
there's the company of Durin Blue Shield. <laughs> Always like to keep up on them. But I think it is time that we will uh, finally kind of finish reading off of some of these missions here. So, all emerald orcs are attuned to the Fey Realm. It is imbued in their flesh and flows with the blood in their veins, but some venture closer than others. For reasons unknown, except perhaps to the most learned of shamans and the most powerful of witch kings. Like, I don't know, Relgak. <laughs> Our Fey Queen has recently alerted the Warchief to one such orc, whose dreams already touch upon the plane of life and magic. He is clearly held in high esteem among those of the Ashen Tree Pact, and we should give him a commensurate place in our armies. And it's going to cost us some points, but uh, eh, it always does. <laughs> and so the Fey once had high hopes for the Elves, but when the Green Tide came, it was clear we Orcs were a superior choice for elevation. The Deep Woods are our home now, and we must make clear but it is no place for these interlopers who have long overstayed their wealth. You can get some siege ability. Since we've conquered so much of the Deep Woods, I will save this until after our war. It seems only fitting. <laughs> that was cool. No! No, it depleted in our... God, oh, that's a huge portion of our economy. Aw, oh, man. That ain't cool. Ain't cool at all. We're gonna have to step up our conquering game okay, then. Okay, we could go to war with. <laughs> you seem rather big. <laughs> well, I mean. I actually don't have to worry too much about this coalition, because I know I'll just explode on them. Okay. So that's done. So, the Deep Woods is now... Hold that thought. <laughs> Hold that thought, Pete. One second. Gonna have to finish this off real quick. Well, I quickly get rid of the. Huh, I don't ever remember the Wretched Skull. That's a new one. I think. Maybe it's the guys that spawn over here. Uh, hold that thought while I real quickly kill you off. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> get out of here. And in the meantime, we could do stuff. But soon enough. Okay. Once you're gone, then we can read the words. The words of the words. And we can actually steal some more maps if we wanted to. Ooh, wow, we could steal a lot of maps. How did we get fish? Oh, because it's the orc culture group. Wow! Look at that Vroen march. You don't see that every day. Krovis actually won. Speaking of winning, the Deep Woods are ours. The first step of our covenant with the Fey has been fulfilled. None shall stand before us in our pack. This truth is whispered by the wind, heard in the rustle of the leaves, and understood by every bird that flies our skies. And rodent, such as goblins, that crawl our earth, and soon all of Holland shall know the same. We gain a crap ton of mill points. Make sure I don't pass over the cap here. Boop, boop, and beautiful. Oh, and we can even get. Infantry fire, which doesn't do anything for us. Awesome. Even though we're so far ahead in mill tech, I think it could be a good idea to go for mill idea groups, but I have to think on that one. 
And unfortunately, we need people to colonize so we can finish our mission tree. This is kind of annoying, man. We need we need them to colonize so I can so I can go fight them. Come on, Marhol. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm really sure these guys aren't going to colonize into the forest. Nobody's going to go there. Nobody's close to there. Ah, we're getting there. Okay, but with our conquest of the deep woods complete, I'd say that's a pretty good stopping point for today. I'm not sure where we're going to go next. I mean, we could help expand our person of. All right, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Guess we're not done for today. The poor and homeless are a constant in every society. Every day a struggle for their survival, often only alive because of their the kindly donation of those fortunate. While traveling through the capital with your entourage, you pass by another unfortunate soul so alike all the rest, afflicted with the wretched curses of disease and malnutrition and the worst curse of all. The curse of life. <laughs> She begs of you for charity of a few coins so she may eat this day. Surely not a second thought for one who is decorated with the wealth of a nation. Well, here's a thought, little girl. Um, why don't you, if we were all dead, then we wouldn't have to worry about there not being any food. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> you notice that behind her rags an exquisite amulet that calls out to you. You must have it. And we could give away money, give away prestige, or we could gain power points. Well, what do you think I'm going to do? Take the power points. Yes. <laughs> well, girl, I will give you the, ge the gift of undeath. That is my gift to thee. No food. You can die and I'll resurrect you into the army. <laughs> All right. But with that terrible thing I've just said out of the way, <laughs> thank you for watching, <laughs> and stay tuned for more. <laughs>